Alrighty, hey guys, this is Think Outside the Cube. Figured I'd try out a new filming location today. It wasn't too windy on the lake, so why not? This is our new 2016 Lexus ES350. If you follow and keep up with the channel, then you'll know that we actually traded in our 2014 Nissan Altima for this vehicle. Um, the Altima was getting up there in mileage, and we basically needed to decide to go ahead and keep it or trade it in on something a little bit nicer and keep it for the long haul. And that's what we decided to do. Um, we ended up going to the Lexus dealer just to kind of see what all the December to Remember hype was about. Um, and really it's not too much. 0.9% um, financing if you, if you apply and really good lease deals. But both of those things are just irrelevant to us. But what really made them deal so good on the um, ES is because they wanted to, this particular dealer wanted to move 300 units in December alone. And so they basically were willing to deal if anything was reasonable. And so that's why we're sitting here today. We got a pretty good deal on this vehicle. But as I said, 2016 ES350, it is an atomic silver with the black leather. The packages we have, we have Lexus Safety Systems Plus, we have Luxury, and then we have Navigation. Now coming up front, 2016 gave you the refreshed front grille, refreshed alloys, and a refreshed interior. Um, you do have the more aggressive spindle grille on this vehicle. Lexus Safety Systems Plus does give you um, all LED exterior illumination. You do get the bi-LED headlights, which basically just means you have LED uh, low beams and high beams. You have the nice daytime running light right there, and then your fog lights are LED as well. As you can see, front parking sensors because we did get the parking assist option. Um, if I remember correctly, your Lexus logo is actually your radar for your um, Safety Systems Plus package. Also for your radar cruise and forward collision alert. Coming to your wheels, these are actually a $40 option. These basically come on every every ES that has navigation. These are Michelin Primacy MXV4 tires, P215-55R17s. You do get 18-inch alloy wheels if you go to an um, ultra luxury, but we decided not to just because um, 50 grand for an ES is a little much. Coming around back, we do have LED tail lights, dual outlet exhaust down below, the rear parking sensors. We do have a rear bumper applique, as you can see right there, the Lexus logo. And we're actually getting them when we go in for our 5,000 mile service to change this little dealer logo to black. I think it would look a little bit more subtle on this one, just because you have the um, black valence down below. So we'll go ahead and hop inside and take a look at your window sticker. Now, of course, with this being an ES, you do have smart key access and push button start. Here's your key fob. They do give you these key gloves to put on your smart keys just to protect them, I guess. Lock, unlock, trunk, and panic right here. So I'll grab your door handle to unlock. So we'll take a look at the window sticker, start it up, go under the hood, and then we'll come inside. So as I said, 2016 ES four-door. You do have the atomic silver exterior with the black leather. Now, options-wise, we do have the blind spot monitoring, rear cross traffic alert, 15-inch alloys, Lexus Safety Systems Plus. We have the rear power sunshade, luxury package, navigation system, one-touch power trunk, intuitive park assist, rain sensing wipers, wood and leather trimmed steering wheel, and the trunk mat, cargo net, wheel locks, rear bumper applique, and key gloves for a total of $45,594. Gas mileage is 21 City 31 Highway. So that's basically all of the stuff on the window sticker. As I said, we actually started out looking at a 38 grand one and we ended up walking out with one that's nearly 46 grand. But if you can afford it, so what? Put your foot on the brake and press your button to start. Your seat will auto recall to its last memory setting. Let's check out under the hood. Coming underneath the hood, you can see those LED daytime running lights do come on when you turn on the vehicle. You'd have a strut assisted hood, thankfully, and you do have a 3.5 liter 2GR V6 engine. It's Toyota's bread and butter V6, um, 268 horsepower going to the front wheels through a six speed automatic running on regular gas. This is your only powertrain choice for the ES. From what I know, the 2 liter turbo is not coming to the ES. They're keeping that for the RC, IS, and GS if you want that. And of course, you can always go to those vehicles if you want all wheel drive as well. But nice hood liner up there, and as you can see, those two struts. And your battery is up front, of course, because this really isn't that sporty of a car. So we'll go ahead and check out your interior now. All right, so stepping inside, 
Now your luxury package, the main two reasons we went for that were for the real leather seats that you get here with the accent stitching, full perforations. And then you do get the real wood trim on your center console. If you don't get that, you'll get the piano black trim. And to be honest, it really doesn't match. Um, the wood trim. Any wood that you see in a Lexus ES will be real wood. As you can see on the door panels, we decided to go for the Espresso Bird's Eye Maple. Your other option is like linear wood, and we decided to go against that. But um, your door panels do have some nice soft touch materials up top, padding right here, and some nice leather stitching on your armrest. All automatic windows, power locks, power mirrors are on your dash, and then three person memory settings. Now, your driver's seat is fully powered with power lumbar, so we'll step inside. Now right over here to the left, you do have your power mirrors, auto high beams, parking sensors, blind spot monitoring, nice little felt line storage cubby right there, hood release, trunk release, gas cap release, and then you do have your panel dim, odometer reset, and then your power steering wheel right here that does tilt and telescope. Now your steering wheel is a three spoke leather and wood wrapped wheel. Of course, audio, Bluetooth, cruise controls down here with your radar cruise. You have three positions, um, three car lengths, two car lengths, and one car length, as well as your lane keep assist right here. That is active, so it will steer you back in your lane. And if it's too much that the computer can't handle, it will vibrate the wheel. Now these are the controls for that center, literal, that little center display right up there. Over to the left, you do have your tap to three blinks blinkers, as well as fog lights and auto headlights and over to the right you do have your variable intermittent speed rain sensing wipers right there now of course your dashboard is made of some nice soft touch materials right right up here nice padding right here you have your real wood trim right there but the fake aluminum right there now you have your audio your dual zone auto climate down here you have your heated and ventilated front seats power sunshade right here would be your heated steering wheel which i kind of wish we got because this wood can be rather cold when you're getting um getting in on a winter morning right there you do have a cup holder lid we'll go ahead and put my water back right there i'm um, here at your drive mode selector you have eco normal and sport you just push and turn for those traction control off Here's that six-speed automatic right there. Drive with sport mode with manual shift and then reverse. Of course, you do have a rear backup camera right there. There's that key. Here's another cup holder right here. You just push that back and as you can see, that wood trim does follow through right here that matches the dash and the doors that we really like. Now this is gonna be your remote touch interface controller going to menu. As you can see, you have eight options right there. This is a really intuitive system. I'll do a separate video on that if you guys want, but it's really in depth. And so um, if I spent time going over everything, this video would be 20 minutes long. Um, nice leather stitched and padded armrest. Looking inside, it is felt lined. You have two USBs and a power outlet right there. As you can see, I was out here taking some pictures with the car earlier. There's the window sticker. Now, you you do have a damped glove box. Plenty of storage in there, but your manuals do take up a lot of room in there. I'll close that back. Um, you have your new frameless um, rear view mirror with the integrated garage door opener right there. It is auto dimming right there as well. Now, you have a very, very plush and felt lined headliner. It's very nice. A mirror and vanity light right up there. Um, you have your touch sensitive lights right here so you can easily just tap those with um, your knuckle. Sometimes you don't even have to tap them. It'll just like with the lightest touch you can just turn them on and off. You have your sunroof controls right here. I have it vented right now but you can easily close that back up. Um, sliding functions right here will close that up. Your Lexus Safety Connect right here. Very equivalent to OnStar. And so that's basically it for the front. We'll check out the rear seat. Now stepping into the rear, um, all four doors do have smart key access. Your real leather and stitching and perforations do carry through to the rear seat as well. Now all your door materials do follow through, the padding, 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 the real wood trim, chrome door handle and auto window, Lexus door seal down below. Now plenty of room behind my dad's 5 foot 10 memory seat setting, I'm about 5'8". Knee room, foot room down below. You do have the suit, two seat back pockets right there and um, the nice padded rear um, of the seat. You do have vents right here, 12 volt outlet down below that. To my right, I do have a nice little center armrest with padding, cup holders right here that's nice and padded as well with the felt linings in the bottom of those. You do have your rear ski pass through right here since your seats don't fold. You do have your rear adjustable headrest, all three of them are adjustable. And then um, LED illumination up top. Four cornering handles for every um, exterior passenger as well. 
So we'll go ahead and check out the cargo area and we'll wrap up the video. Coming around back, you do have dual outlet exhaust down below, rear parking sensors and the rear bumper applique. We do have the optional power trunk on this model. Kind of silly in my opinion, but it was already on the car. Can't really take it off. Um, power close option, line trunk lid, emergency release, and then the handle if you want to manually close it. You do have cargo net right here, the cargo mat right there. Um, first aid kit that is complimentary. As you can see, ski pass through back there and some tie downs right in the corners right over there. Um, down below, you do have your um, compact spare tire and jack. But for the first four years of ownership, you do have um, complimentary roadside assistance. So if we were to get a flat, we would just call that number. But that's basically it. I hope you enjoyed this video of our new 2016 Lexus ES350. We'll probably be keeping this car a while, so get used to seeing videos of it. But thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.